government at all levels have intensified engagements with the people to ensure better communication on the challenges confronting the nation and efforts to ameliorate the suffering of the people. The renewed whole agricultural empowerment project is not just about providing temporary relief. It is about building sustainable solutions that will empower and rebuild life. I assure you that Mr. President is doing everything to reset the economy and there are a lot of positive indices already in place. He has, uh, you know, put in place a lot of palliatives. This engagement seemed to have yielded positive outcomes as more groups resolved to opt out of the planned nationwide protest against hardship in the country expected to begin on August 1, 2024. Let us not participate in any kind of protest. For the sake of women, their mothers, their sisters, and their daughters, I beg you, please, calm down. We will not sit here to watch some off movement that believe they are working in the interest of Nigeria to come and bond our infrastructure and slow our movement. At the sub-national level, the fear is that although protests are legitimate actions by the people, recent incidences have proven that they can be hijacked and spiral out of control into anarchy. Many say, the youth must desist from being used as agents of destabilization. Because we have no other country we can call our own outside Nigeria. People that are organizing this protest are the people that doesn't have interests of Nigeria at heart. The developmental strides being achieved in various sectors in the last one year of the current administration, they say, must be allowed to grow as the groups and individuals distance themselves from the proposed protest.